Stan Jabalisco here to show you what is meant by the term auto transformer. Auto transformer. It's not an automatic transformer, but it's a transformer that is contained entirely within a single winding or a single coil of wire. The three examples we see here at A we see a step-down auto transformer with an air core suitable for use perhaps at RF uh, ap in RF applications the primary winding is the entire winding and the secondary winding is just part of that and you can uh, pick off any desired uh, voltage along this transformer for the secondary all the way from zero up to the full primary voltage that is a, with an air core for RF this one has a laminated iron core and is a step up design the secondary uh, is the entire coil and the primary is just part of it now you can't get very much of a step up ratio with a with an auto transformer whose primary uh, uh, f forms only part of the secondary. You can get any step-down ratio you want with one like this, but step-up is a different story. You can step up to some extent, maybe 50%, 60%, but you can't step up by a factor of something like 10 and expect to get very good regulation at the output. And the third example we see here is just like the second one. It's a step-up design, but it has a powdered iron core. Uh, perhaps it could be wound on a toroidal powdered iron core for use at low-frequency RF applications, or um, maybe it's uh, intended for somewhat higher frequencies with a lower permeability for the iron um, powdered iron core. But again, you can't expect to get very much of a step-up ratio with an auto transformer. Auto meaning, again, all within one coil. It's sort of like a self-contained transformer, as if others aren't. But that's what an auto transformer basically is. It's, it has only one winding, and you take part of the input or output, or pardon me, part of the winding can form either the input or the output. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.